that you guys all needed one on ones. Uh, you know, had that all start, um, and why one on ones? Yeah, sure. So it was you know kind of a meandering path in college. Uh, I was studying architecture and engineering, and someone showed me processing and open frameworks, and I was kind of always a big doodler. And so when I realized I could you know kind of like generate my doodles with code. I just thought that was extremely fascinating. And so I ended up moving to New York and working in advertising. I uh, had friends who were, you know, trying to do the contemporary art thing in New York. And so I was sort of like on the periphery. So, you know, like had, you know, I had a friend who ran a gallery as well. So I started going to art fairs and um, you know, I just thought that it was interesting that digital art was sort of like a small subset of contemporary art, even though in my mind, a lot of the really interesting cutting edge work that I liked was sort of natively digital. Uh, and, you know, a lot of these artists had massive Tumblr followings that later were like Instagram and Giphy followings, but still not really part of, you know, they weren't really participating in the economics of contemporary art. And so, um, you know, sort of like developed this idea that like, well, if you did, you know, like, and I had gotten into crypto and I was like, I think, you know, maybe you could, you know, that if you could issue something like an NFT, it wasn't called an NFT at the time, but people started to do this, like a scribe in like 2014 was issuing certificates of authenticity on the Bitcoin blockchain. And, you know, it's pretty confident that at some point we would, you know, build a system where this would be you know easy and fun to do and so uh when i saw the work that the dapper team had done around nfts and like building a standard i got very excited and was like oh i think that's like the missing piece of infrastructure and so that's when i i was working with consensus at the time and left to go uh, start prototyping uh, super rare nice yeah um again so, uh, good to hear the, the story behind these platforms. I think new people, they get in, they kind of feel like this space has been here for a while. They expect, you know, uh, the on-ramps to be there. They expect like, what is this gas fees thing? Why are we still dealing with it? And I think a lot of people, especially the non-crypto crowd, are not really used to being in the space so early, in the space of so much tech innovation um, to the extent that we are still ironing out so many kinks, right? Um, the, the blockchain is very difficult to work with. The UIs are still trying to be figured out. Uh, the data isn't there to give a lot of confidence to new investors. And there's just um, so much being figured out. We're, we're really at the start. I feel like we're, you know, stage one of stage 100. <laughs> we, we still have so much to do. Um, Coldy, a very interesting experience of yours. You've been involved in the very early days. I think you were involved in the crypto art scene even before these platforms, right? So um, an experience from yours is, uh, you know, like how was the scene, what was crypto art before yeah. NFTs? I feel like people coming in crypto art to them. Uh, back in 2017, I, uh, I, uh, I did participate in an ICO. I also purchased land in the first auction. Uh, I had crypto kitties. I uh, I just always been just generally. Uh, 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 I found that what was happening here very engaging and innovative, and uh, the community was great. And uh, yeah, it was exciting. So when I really started, it was it was more as a hobby. Uh, but I just generally like when anything that I like to do, I like to even if it's a hobby, I like to uh, look at things holistically and try to do things properly, professionally, and in the way that it should be done. Uh, I obviously saw that what was happening in the space was, was really extraordinary, particularly in the art world. Uh, I first got to the land space, but when I saw what was happening in the art world, I realized, hey, these technologies, obviously, uh, for whoever understands that these technologies, obviously something that, that, that will cling on. It's just a better way to transact with digital items. It's the only way really to transact with digital items, but it's just a better way that could be applied to many different asset classes. And for art in particular, it was very, very clear. Now, I also have a personal uh, background from family and my wife is a designer and an architect and just I've, I've been generally around art all my life uh, I, I wasn't a collector before but again I saw uh, an incredible group of, 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 of individuals uh, coming together and really pushing a vision an idea uh, 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 that was again very special and uh, I've never seen that, that rate of innovation and I've never seen that amount of talent all coming together and I, 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 again, I, 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 I guess I, 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 together with Colborn as well, which was uh, have been obviously a very important part of everything that has happened uh, here. Uh, but um, 
you know, we 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 just started little by little, uh, getting in contact with the with the creators, with all the collectors, with the platforms, and trying to bring our expertise into into this again at the beginning as a hobby. Then it started growing a little bit, and now it's obviously uh, maybe not the largest, but certainly one of the most significant uh, digital art collections in the world. And um, and yeah, with the idea that. Uh, yeah, to uh, our, our main goal, at least for Colburn and I, was never monetary. As you see, we're certainly not flippers. Uh, it's not what we do. Uh, we actually just want to uh, be part of the history that's happening here and help in what we can uh, guide uh, the, the people, the new participants in the space to to have better infrastructure, to have better work, to have uh, you know more experiences, and to have a more mature, uh, just a more mature industry going forward. And it's been an extraordinary journey, very transformational for me. I'm very grateful of having me, uh, having met everybody that I have throughout this path. And um, I, I, I think we're, this is just the beginning. And uh, you know, we're undergoing a, a a a transition moment. But this is this is going to be a major, major, major part of um, of art as a whole in the coming years. So um, that's that's a little bit of the story. <laughs> 